going to be testing out and trying on this Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And this is the mini version, so I'm really happy. I love when brands come out with minis because especially like if they're more high-end, they're a bit more pricey and you don't know if it's going to work for you. So I just did get this from Sephora. This is in the color Butter. Sorry for my finger, I got burned really bad. This is in the color Butter. I do wish they had it in translucent, but they don't. This in the site is described for fair to medium skin tones. If you wanted it even lighter, they have it only available in the big size, and that is in the color Lavender, and that's for fair to light skin tones. So. Mini version comes in four shades if you're interested in the mini, and for the mini, it was $18 plus tax. It was like 19 something, and you get 0.27 ounces. If you were to get the big size, you get 0.98 ounces, but you would pay $32. I'm looking really pale right now because I only have foundation. I don't have bronzer or blush or anything because we're gonna put this first and then I will apply the other stuff and see how it blends on top of this and to see if we look cakey or something. The big size comes in eight colors. The mini size comes in four colors. I love the packaging of this and if you compared this to like the other mini sizes that they have like if you want to get the Laura Mercier, the Hourglass, the um, Kat Von I believe they're all like maybe two dollars more or three so I really like this not really a big fan of like loose powder just because it's so messy but I don't hate them like I really want to try them I know they're really good for baking I did do a video where I used this for baking put it right here if you want to go see that it was like a hair and makeup tutorial and that's when I used this for baking so we open it up it's just so beautiful what caught my attention is that it comes like with a little puff and I I don't know like that totally got my attention so I want you to look at this little puff because it is the most tiniest thing ever like it may not even look as tiny on camera but this is tiny 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 and really skinny well what do you expect this is a mini size it's gonna take a lot if you're gonna try to powder your face with like this little thing but it does come like with a little film here so that's pretty cool this is what i can't tilt it a lot because you know it's gonna uh, come out everywhere so this powder says a super fine weightless loose setting powder in eight sheer shades to perfect and extend the makeup wear for a filtered photo ready finish the silky powder works all day to reduce shine and blur the look of pores fine lines and imperfections for a hyper smooth filter that won't flash back so i can't wait to put this on because i want to bronze and and put my blush and everything close-ups but here is just has the f and the b so really nice and customized i am going to just pour some here if you want to do the little puff i mean it's adorable you can get some there and let's let, i'll just put like on my nose the rest i'm going to use a brush so i'm going to apply some here just so you can see how it works. Wow. Let me just look at it up close. I'm gonna use this flat top kabuki. I'm just gonna put some like this, dust that, and just do it around my whole face. And we'll see if the pores look any nicer or anything. at it up close I think it looks nice I don't think it looks like flawless some under the eyes like to bake to see if it makes the under eye look nicer that's baking we're gonna go ahead and just apply some bronzer and some blush to see how it all applies on top and if we have to put some setting spray to melt this powder in I'm gonna quickly just bronze because we're looking oh my god so pale and this is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. This is the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. Apply this blush from Milani and it's in the color Berry Amore. Oh, what a difference. And we're gonna take some of that powder and just blend that out. You can always fix it, you see? Nothing 
to go crazy over. Use some highlight here. I did do a highlighter declutter video if you're interested in seeing that. Okay, so I like how everything blended. It's not looking cakey. Pores do look nice, nicer. Smelling the powder, there isn't really like any scent, so if you're sensitive to that, some companies like really put a lot of fragrance to their stuff, but not this one. I do wanna try the Laura Mercier Mini 2. I know it's really, really hyped. And but this the packaging like oh my god I don't regret buying it I'm just so so used to my it cosmetics but I have to let it go and I have to use other things because when you try new things that's how you discover new favorites you know what I'm also gonna put some spray to see if it looks different like when you put a spray on top. and wild hopefully this doesn't give me a hard time because sometimes it does and let's see if the powder looks different like if it melts into the skin or something see Wait, if I haven't mentioned this, I'm pretty sure I did in that video that I did uh, the best makeup products for like oily skin. I mentioned this. I love this stuff. I like it. Look nice and matte. There is no glow. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the little notification bell. That way you will be the first to get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.